putting them together. And uh, it was certainly a delight and a surprise that uh, uh, a novel of such sensitive and delicate writing uh, was coming out. And I kept on t t telling her that it's extraordinary. And uh, uh, of course, uh, we had a lot of debate on certain uh, points and certain junctures, which, and, that's, that, and that's how Sadia is. Uh, the novel is, is, is uh, located in 1970s Karachi. Uh, so a particular, there's a, there's a very a particular time period, a location, and uh, a certain uh, underlying uh, sense of uh, both historical and political uh, tension uh, which the narrative brings forth to the reader, but in a very subtle, subtle way. It's not an overtly political novel. It's uh, what one would call a, you know, for the want of a better word, a domestic uh, novel which deals with the intimate lives of characters, um, particularly female characters set in this uh, particular time period of uh, Karachi. And the protagonist, uh, Tahira, is, a, is, uh, is, is just a symbol of many other, uh, maybe millions of women across uh, the subcontinent and perhaps the globe uh, who get into unhappy marriages and then they try and negotiate uh, with their uh, circumstances and with the, both the desire to, for freedom and the uh, respect for convention and, uh, what, uh, and, and to keep their families happy. And it is within these constraints that Tahira uh, uh, tr tries and finds uh, her own voice, her own sensibility, her own expression takes to take, uh, she's an artist who's, give, who's given up artwork uh, um, and then she re reclaims her, uh, her, her talents and starts painting again. And uh, the, the characters around her uh, are, are again very varied. Her husband, who is uh, Shahzad, is, uh, a, is a typical uh, Pakistani young man who is obviously, as a creature of patriarchy, has a certain expectation from his wife as a husband and a son-in-law. But he's not a, a villain, and he's not portrayed as such, which is, again, a very uh, unique thing about this novel, that the characters have enough nuances. And there's, uh, I mean, there are no heroes and no, and, and no villains, in my view. Uh, but the underlying uh, setting uh, of the novel is even more important, because we don't have enough um, documentation or, or, or chronicles that uh, put together the turbulent decade of 1970s, because 1970 uh, is the time when Pakistan broke into, uh, I mean, when, when Pakistan lost its eastern wing, a new country emerged. We also had a civilian uh, government, an, an autocratic government under Mr. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, and all that happened uh, in that uh, time period has not been properly uh, chronicled, uh, and this novel uh, it kind of um, uh, presents uh, and, and, is, and is a very valuable document, other than its uh, literary and fictional qualities, that it, it, it uh, brings uh, this uh, particular phase of Pakistani history alive to the reader. And in particular, uh, the, the repression of political workers, of progressives, under an ostensibly secular socialist regime, and uh, the uh, uh, and the peculiarities of of Karachi's ethnic tensions, uh, they also come forth. Uh, you know, again in a very subtle way. There are hardly any political statements. The characters don't make long political speeches, but they do talk about the world outside, and they t and they are living in a particular moment. So uh, I think uh, that's what I really uh, liked about this novel. And uh, I um, also think that uh, it is uh, very important that uh, we uh, kind of move away, away from uh, the, the trends that we have. A lot of fiction uh, in South Asia, particularly, uh, and not just in Pakistan, but elsewhere, also caters uh, uh, to somehow the audience which is going to read it. And that kind of Im imposes many constraints, unfortunately. And this novel is, kind of is, 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 is liberated from that imperative. And uh, it is, uh, a, and, and that's what it, what it makes. Uh, that's what it makes its uh, inherent creativity even more admirable. So I think I'll end there. And um, maybe Sadia Abbas, um, due to uh, the recent circumstances, has uh, pas partially lost her voice. So the reading that she was supposed to do this evening, 
I have been entrusted to do that, and I and I do apologize that I'll, I'm likely to make mistakes because I haven't rehearsed or tried. But uh, please bear with me. So I'll I'll read uh, the opening paragraph and a few more um, uh, passages from this novel, just to give you an idea.